Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good day. It is me, Pastor Andy, coming at you again with another uh, Bible story for all you kiddos out there and not-so-kiddos, too. Feel free to join in. It is good to be with all of you again. It's a little sunny out, isn't it? In fact, it might be a little hard to, to see me. I'm sorry about that. Anyway, that's okay. It's it's beautiful out, and I hope y'all are getting to enjoy all this beautiful, cool weather out there. It is it is a nice, nice day. You know, it feels good to wake up in the morning and to walk outside and hear the birds chirping and the, and see the sun shining and feel that cool, crisp fall air on your skin. Isn't that great? And have you ever thought, you know, God created all that. And if this all feels so great right now, it, does that is that maybe because this is a way God tells me that he loves me? Have you ever thought of that? I think about that a lot, you know? Uh, because we are all children of God. Have you ever thought about that? Now, yeah, you're, 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 now, you're, you're a child. You're, 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 we're all children of somebody. We're all children of our parents, our moms and dads, but we're also children of God. Because God gave you to your mom and dad as a gift. And God is is the the mother and the father of all of us. God is our is our parent. God God loves us that much and that that greatly. But I want to return to this thought about being a child. You know, uh children grow up. And sometimes uh children who grow up and they become adults, sometimes they forget what it's like to be a kid. And that's kind of tragic if you think about it, because being a kid is super duper cool, right? I mean, there's stuff that I did when I was a kid, like I, I would go out and I would pretend that, uh, there were, so my elementary school had this big old tree, big giant oak tree, right? And I and my friends would go over there and we pretend that we uh, like lived in the jungle, like that we were a tribe and stuff. And I remember one time uh, a kid named Sean picked up a stick and thinking it was a spear and he threw it at my pal Brian and it hit my, my pal Brian in the face. And we didn't think it was so fun then, but uh, you know, that's just part of being like a jungle-like tribe person, right, is you throw sticks at, at people sometimes, uh, even though you shouldn't, so don't go throwing sticks at people, okay, but uh, you get to do lots of cool stuff when you're a kid, like uh, cover yourself in mud, I did that once, that was fun, my mom loves that story, uh, kids are really special, you know, you, you kids out there, you're really special, because the scripture tells us, actually, that y'all are closer to God than we adults are. Y'all have this really cool way of just kind of naturally understanding and getting God. And uh, because because when we become adults, we get distracted by a bunch of stuff, right? We get distracted by work and by paying bills. I'm sure you've heard all about bills before and, and getting a job. And we forget sometimes that we are simply God's children. And that God wants us to feel loved and enjoy being his children. And we have a story today about a time that Jesus points this out to people. And uh, he, Jesus, Jesus loved kids uh, and paid a lot of attention to kids when no one else really did back then. Kids were kind of to be seen and not heard. Have you ever heard that before? That's kind of how people thought of children. And Jesus looked at them and said, yeah, no, not really. Children are pretty cool, and we should listen to them because they're closer to God than most of us are. So we're going to read this story about how Jesus blesses the children uh, to be teachers to all of us. So let's go ahead and read. Jesus was traveling all over the land, and he was telling people about the good news of how much God loves them. And one day Jesus was talking to a large crowd. See that? Jesus talking to the large crowd? He did that a lot. And it seemed that there was always a crowd that was following him around, true, and the children 
you know, they were there, but they had to stand on their little tippy toes or sit on their parents' shoulders just so they could see Jesus because they were so small. And people would crowd in and the kids were often left out, right? And people were everywhere. And this was on a grassy hill. And so, you know, yeah, that was fun. And they were laughing and smiling and waiting for Jesus to tell them more about how much God loved them. God loves you and you and you and you and you and even you, Jesus said. He wants you to also love other people, right? And one mom said, I want my children to hear what Jesus is saying. He's saying some good stuff. And other parents wanted their children to hear Jesus too. And they moved closer and put their children down on the grass near where Jesus was. And one small boy tugged on the corner of Jesus' robe. And Jesus turned around to see him. You see the little boy, he's tugging on Jesus' robe. Ah, Jesus said, smiling. And he bent down to hold the hands of the children standing nearby. So he welcomed the kids. Now, his disciples, however, they were not so welcoming to the kids. In fact, they were pretty mad. And they started scolding the kids' parents, saying, What do you think you're doing? Jesus is too important and too busy to talk with your kids, lady. Okay, that's probably how they sounded. I don't know. Get your children. Get them out of here. Get them out of here. Go, 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 go. Get them some ice cream or something. I, I just go, go somewhere else. Again, that's how they sounded back then. And when Jesus heard the disciples say these things, say these mean things to the parents and the kids, he stood up and turned back to all the grown-ups. What do you think you're doing? Jesus said to his disciples, and they said, "Well, well, well these these kids." The, these these kids, uh, they're not as important to you as, as, as us, like us disciples and all these adults, right? Like, why are you letting them bother you? They're, they're there, you're holding hands with them, you're playing patty cake. That's not cool, Jesus. Like, we want to hear what you have to say. So get the, let's look at the kids out of here, okay? We're going to have adult time, adult talk, Jesus. Now, Jesus... Just had a big old smile on his face, right? And he went to bend down and he looked in the eyes of each kid and told them how deeply God loves them. They looked up at his disciples and said, Never, ever, ever stop anyone from coming to see me, especially if they're a kid. Let kids come and play with me or sit on my knee. Children like these are a part of God's big family too, just as much as you are. They're a big, important part of the family. And then Jesus knelt down to look each child in the eye. And he said, hey, here, here, come sit with me. We're going to have story time. And Jesus said, I will tell you all about the love of God, who is my father. And Jesus sat on the grass with all the children and told all of the little girls and the boys about God and God's big family. And then Jesus put his hand on every girl's head and on every boy's head and blessed them, saying, Remember, God and I love you just the way you are. See, he's blessing them right there. Blessing means he's giving them like a special prayer. He, he's, he's saying something very special uh, for them uh, and hoping that they will know how deeply God loves them and that, that that makes them feel good. That's a blessing. Then Jesus stood up and said to all of the grown-ups gathered there, Remember what I told you today. Whoever does not love God like one of these little kids loves me, can't be a part of God's family. You got to become like a little kid. Now, how would you have felt if you were one of the kids there? If you had been taught to listen to adults your whole life, as all of you have been, and the adults were telling you, like, hey, go sit down, you're bothering Jesus. And Jesus looks at those adults and said, hey, you, wait a minute, not so fast. These kiddos here, these are, 
These are the most important people of all, okay? These kids are awesome. They want to hang out with me. They, they feel close to God just because they know who God is. They know God is love. And don't keep them from hanging out with me. I want to play with these kids. These kids deserve my time too, just as much as you do, Mr. Adult. How would you have felt if you were one of those kids there? Listening to Jesus tell your, your parents or other adults, like, hey, hey, this kid right here, this kid's special. All right, I love this kid. This kid is just as much a part of God's family as you are. They're just as important, and they deserve some time with me, too. How would you have felt about that? I kind of feel good, right? It's like, whoa, Jesus thinks I'm special and I'm cool. Hey, that's pretty cool. And, of course, Jesus thinks everyone's special and cool, but, but a lot of the time, some people get left out when we think about who's special and who's cool, and, and we, we, we sometimes forget people like children because y'all are you're, you're little compared to us big old adults and we think we're so important and all that stuff and and we're really not we're really not any more important than you are we just like to pretend we are and uh, that's what Jesus does is that Jesus invites us all to be reminded that we are first and foremost children of God and that to be close to God, we have to remember that. We have to be like children. We have to be willing to come to Jesus. We have to be willing to want to play with Jesus or sit with Jesus or tell Jesus what's going on in our lives or just be curious and ask questions to Jesus. We have to be that way to get to know God and get to know Jesus. And so it's actually really good to be a child and to remember that, that even when we become adults, that doesn't go away. We are still children of God and we should still behave in a way like the children in the story where they approach Jesus and they and, and they really want to be near him because we all should want to be near him he wants to be near us Jesus loves us Jesus loves you and wants to spend time with you and that's why we do things like going to church and that's why we pray uh, that's why we serve other people and try to love them because that's how we show Jesus' love, and that's also how we feel it, is through loving other people and loving ourselves because you're valuable. Do you love yourself? Why not? Sometimes it's hard to love ourselves because sometimes we're afraid of being all high and mighty, like people love themselves, like, oh, they're really full of themselves, and like, I'm the best, I'm the best, I'm the best. That's not loving yourself. That's, that's just being a jerk. Loving yourself is knowing how valuable you are to God. And then when you realize that, you're able to realize, hey, God feels that way about every single person around me, too. And so everyone's valuable, and everyone deserves to feel loved. You, me, mom and dad, your brother and your sister, your cousin, everyone deserves to feel loved by God. And that's what Jesus wants us to know. So when you go to school this week, how do you intend to feel and show that you are loved? How do you think you'll do that? That's a big question. I want you to talk about that with your parents and your brothers and your sisters this week, okay? Because it's a cool thing to think about. And in the meantime, I will be coming up with another story for us next week. I miss all of you. I hope you're all doing great great in school and having a good time and I will see you again next week for our wonderful wonderful Bible story time and until then may all of you be blessed to know that God loves you more 